So actually the area of a trapezoid is pretty easy. I mean there's a formula so you can just follow it blindly. And I can kind of explain to you where the formula came from, but a lot of kids, more importantly, they just want to get these things right. So first of all, here's a trapezoid, right? And kind of the definition of a trapezoid is that the bottom and the top, or at least uh, two sides, are parallel. And the other two sides are not, right? So here you have these lines here are clearly parallel, and these ones are not. And so back up to this little formula here, the parallel lines are the bases, so base one, base two. It really doesn't matter if you consider the top base one and the bottom base two, or vice versa. All that matters is that the parallel sides are the ones that are the bases. These are not the bases. And then the other variable here in the formula is H, right? What is H? H is the height. And now be careful, kind of like in the other videos we discussed, the height has to be exactly perpendicular to the bases. So in other words, this would not be a height, this would not be a height. There are cases where a trapezoid could look like this, right? And then you would have your parallel sides or your bases, and then maybe one of these other sides is perpendicular, so this would be the height here. But in this case, this one is not the height because it's sort of diagonalish. this would be the height, right? And then once you know that, it's pretty easy to just plug in the values. Okay, so here's a classic example. So I find the area of this trapezoid, right? And you can just look up here and follow this thing perfectly. Base 1 and base 2, I'll call that 8 and 12. So you'd have 8 plus 12 over 2, all in parentheses. And now that right over 2. So basically, what, I didn't want to get into this too much. But basically, you're averaging the bases. When you add two things and divide by how many there are, you're finding an average. So we average the two bases. We add them, divide by 2, and multiply by the height. Pretty easy. 8 plus 12 is 10, to, or excuse me, 20, 20 over 2 is 10, then you have 10 times 6, so the answer would be 60. And of course, whatever units we had, let's pretend like these are meters here and here, then it would be meters squared. You always square your units when you're dealing with area. So that's it. I mean, this is so, so easy. This is going to be a pretty brief lesson. The only thing I'll warn you is sometimes to be mean, teachers will give you a value here, which again is a total decoy. This one right here, you would know. You'd say, this sucker is just meant to mess me up. Same thing if they give you a value here. All you need is your bases and a height. And I guess we should probably be specific. This height would have to actually be perpendicular to the bases. The one other thing you can do, obviously, so let me give you another problem that would be a little trickier, but again, it's the same, it's the same concept, would be something like this. Let's say they give you a trapezoid and they give you the height. Here's the height, three, right? Okay, I'll make that exactly perp to the base. And they give me this base, and, and now I don't know the top base, but I am given the area, right? And this is just total simple algebra. This happens all the time, where in this formula, typically you'll have base 1, base 2, and height, and you'll solve for area. But what if, what if they give me the area, and they give me two of these and, and leave one blank? And that's what we're going to do. So this one, let's just follow this formula. If area is 27, we'll put 27 in for A, and we won't use units. And then over here, Base 1 is actually x, right? We don't know base 1. And then we'll say plus base 2 is 10 over 2 times the height, which happens to be 3. Okay, so now what? Like, this is crazy math. I have this up here, parentheses, all this drama. To solve for x when you have a situation like this, the first thing is to get this 3 out of here. Let's divide by 3, divide by 3. Now you have 9 equals x plus 10 over 2. So now what? Right? This 2 is a problem. The way to get rid of this 2 is to multiply both sides by 2. This is like old school algebra. You probably remember this, right? So now we have 18 equals x plus 10 minus your 10 minus your 10. And now we have x equals 8. So that's it. And that would be your base 1, whatever. Meters is the unit. Okay, and the same thing could happen. They might give you base 1 and 2 and area and not the h. That's fine. You just plug in x for h and solve backwards. So that's the area of trapezoids. They're pretty straightforward. I think you guys will ace this section. And good luck. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video.